William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said 100,000 people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother but he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Here's some more history to learn about, that's for sure. Excited about this. Again, as I've said before, not too familiar with what happened after 1066. And so for me, this is you know, a bit of a like a history lesson <laughs> in what did happen. And it's something that I've always very much enjoyed about the Age of Empires series. Let's jump on in. Welcome to the third mission of the Norman Campaign. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city, and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. Put down some more palings. The unique ability to the English longbows. And they can actually use a multiplayer. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Make sure to set up our groups. Yeah, 
Nostra ora per Questo è Yarwe, Remet Garu. Nostro Make sure my spearmen are up in front. that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. it looks like we're heading off over here. Get my scouts out of there. That's not a good idea for them to be involved. I'm just checking out the special ability of uh, King Henry. Rallies all nearby units to increase their melee armor by a large amount for 5 seconds. Though in future attacks, we definitely want to, of course, deal with that. Or use that to deal with uh, the, the attacks. It's funny, seeing the amount of arrows sticking into that. Looks like we're going to have to go past the walls. Yeah, I should make sure I use this ability whenever we're being attacked. So it does make our units very strong. How much armor does it actually give them? Got the extra three there? I think so. Not as much as I thought it was. Leaving a bowman behind. Shoot those guys off the walls there. There we go. All right, let's go get this village. Actually, running pretty low on spearmen right now. Be okay. We can build some more soon, I'm sure. Five seconds left on this ability. Potentially gonna wait a little bit longer to make use of it. Lovely. Henry now called for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. So we'll build the old blacksmith. And it looks like we can build an arsenal as well. So let's do that. Unless we already have one here. Doesn't look like we do. We have gold, we do. Right, let's get some of these to go and sit on a mining camp. We'll build a barrack so we can have some more spearmen. Looks like we've already got a stable here. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. And we're going to get that siege engineering like we did before. That will allow us to get rams. Those rams can attack these walls. So stone walls in Age of Empires 4 can't actually be attacked by uh, your normal units like archers, spearmen, horsemen. 
you need specific siege equipment in order to do so. So that's why it's, it's teaching us how to do that. I'm going to actually keep going with the wood production for now. Because that way we can get more farms. The camp ability might be quite nice for these long bowmen. So that we can heal them up. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams. Siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. I guess that's the other reason we're going to need more wood, is because we're going to need that siege equipment, which does cost quite a lot of wood to make. I do like how they kind of play musical chairs around the battering rams <laughs> after the. Uh, all of the spaces to build have been taken up. It's uh, quite amusing. Okay, let's uh, grab myself some more spearmen. We actually need three rams. So that's another 300 odd wood. Entirely sure what this village is doing down here. We'll move them up to help with the main lumber camp. Wheelbarrow. Help us out. All of these only seem to take gold, which is quite interesting. Well, we can definitely make another ram at least, so let's go ahead and do that. Get King Henry to move up with the rest of his forces, so don't forget about him. Alright. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered, and now his forces brace for an attack by Robert's army. Uh, I was going to say we should probably move up the hill, but uh, I guess that's fine. Down my palings, make sure we get the armor going. Make these spearmen nice and tanky. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Okay, let's do it. Let's go and destroy these walls. It'd probably be best to just go and hit the corner here. We'll take out this tower. I'm going to build probably another ram while we're waiting for those to do their job. Ah, oh, we should build more houses, actually. get these upgrades. They do require quite a sizable amount of gold. Let's get a few more onto the board. Great. Let's just 
make a bit more of a gap. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. All right, palings at the ready. We put a camp down, and we'll go ahead and pop our ability. I have so many archers, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they spread their shots a bit better, because it seems like a bit of a waste sometimes. Alright, let's build another couple of barracks. Because it looks like we actually do need more dudes. More frontline forces. I'm just going to have these knock down the houses so that my troops don't start attacking them. Also, they do make good targets for enemy forces. Let's get over here towards the center of the city. Destroy everything along the way. Chamber of Commerce. Well, I guess that's going down. Let's go for the town centre. Save my rams if I can. Defeat Bayes buildings. I right, want well, to take down that keep, killing all of my archers. Damn, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to revive him. <laughs> he went down very quickly. Alright. Defeat the defenders. What we're gonna do. So let's just spread out and find them. Getting there. All right, there we go. That's it. Job done. As Bayer burned and the people fled in terror, 
King Henry basked in the victory over his brother, Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Henry really went ham in this one. Destroyed an entire city. Very much enjoyed that. They uh, fell to ash at King Henry's hands. For those still loyal to his brother, a terrifying example had been set. Awesome stuff. All right, well, that's the third mission complete. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this campaign. Do make sure to let me know in the comments and leave a like if you do. Uh, but that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video for the next mission. Goodbye.